Hello world, welcome to the first SISO engineering video. This will be the first of many videos to help our customers, colleagues, friends, maybe family members uh, understand what control engineers do and some of the tools and things we use to do our job. At SISO, we're a group of expert control engineers who believe there's not enough information out there regarding control systems, and, and specifically the GE control system called the Mark 6E which we know very well. So we will cover many things about controls in this video series and, and maybe we'll get into some general engineering topics eventually. Let us know uh, how we're doing, if this makes sense and if they're helpful. Uh, let us know any topics you'd like to see covered. Uh, first up, I wanted to talk briefly at a, at a high level about what a control system is and how they're used. So let's get started. So what is a control system? A control system is a combination of electrical and mechanical devices that are used together to follow a process, produce a widget, or monitor a sequence. There are many different types of control systems. The main heart of a control system is the controller. I'm showing a few different types here above. The controllers range in size, complexity, and capability. Choosing the correct controller is a key deliverable for control as engineer. The controller usually consists of a microprocessor, an I.O., and communications. And the microprocessor runs the application code that is designed by a control engineer. So these controllers, they interface with sensors and actuators. I'm showing a few of them down here. The feedback from the sensors tells the control system the current state of the system that, it's, that it actually cares about. So the controller takes that and decides what to do next, either to hold steady or to change a certain actuator output so that the system can run uh, optimally. So the end goal of the control system is to produce a desired output. The out output could be the torque to drive a mechanical device or produce a chemical or generate electricity, or even turn on the lights in your house when you walk in the door. There are too many applications to, to fully discuss here, but know that the control systems are used throughout the world to automate, monitor, and protect many of the sequences and processes that result in things that we use every day, 